Kansas City police now have a person of interest in a woman's brutal murder. Teresa Kello, a single mother in the metro, was shot to death inside of her home in September. KBC 9's Keisha Henry shows us police had to go back to that crime scene today. Keisha? That's right, Laura. This morning, police were right back here at Teresa's home again, this time because someone broke into her house. Now, police tell me it's not clear whether this break-in is related to her murder. They're investigating, but they do tell me they now have a person of interest in her death, and family members tell me it all started with a tour of this home. She told me they put $125,000 in completely renovate that house. Teresa Kello only lived here for a little more than a year. Her father says he didn't want her moving to this area, but she insisted. She was never afraid over there. She said, I've got an alarm system and I always lock my doors. But Teresa was killed inside this home. Police tell us an unused bullet with Nathaniel Brown's DNA on it was found inside. The convicted armed robber is facing federal charges for felon in possession of ammunition. Police say he's a person of interest in Teresa's murder, but not a suspect. Family members believe Brown met Teresa by asking her for a tour of her home. I asked my grandson about it, and he said he didn't remember the guy's name, but he remembered her telling him that she took some people on a tour of her house, and he apparently lived there at one time. Gene isn't certain who killed his daughter. He's tried to help by canvassing her neighborhood and using social media. He wants whoever killed her to be shown no mercy. I have heard indirectly that she was shot four times. Two of them were in the back of the head, execution style. There's days I had my time of crying. And I think my grandson does too. Now, Jean tells me that Teresa was a very sweet, kind, and overly trusting woman, and he really, really misses her. As for the break in here at her home, he says he doesn't know what, if anything, was stolen, and uh, he doesn't know why anyone would want to go back inside of this house. Police are investigating. Reporting live, Keisha Henry, KMBC 9 News. And if you have any information about Teresa Kello's death, call a TIPS hotline.